If you're managing hundreds, if not thousands of systems, it's very helpful to use an application called Apple Remote Desktop, or ARD. Using ARD, you'll be able to manage all of your machines at the same time, be able to install software, uh, see what the users are doing, uh, view the screens, do all of that from the comfort of your own administrator chair. Let's show how this works. So we're going to open up Apple Remote Desktop here. And right off the bat, it's scanning our network for systems that might be available to us. So using the scanner here, you can look over Bonjour, do a local network, a network range, uh, or any sort of other matter to actually find your systems that are out there. In this case, we'll use the local network, for example. And now we see all of my user systems, Hector, Jesse, Rick. I can select all of these and be able to log into them. And then I'll be able to observe them. We're adding them all in mass. And now I can see the entire classroom, office, whatever else that might be going on, and all of the things that are going on here. So for example, we've got a few people logged in. Veronica's machine is at a screensaver. If I want to, I can double click on one of these, and I'll be able to find out the DNS name, the address, MAC address here for the Ethernet address, uh, and some data settings that I might have put in for when it's going to collect application usage and things like that. If I go up to Jesse's machine here, and if I do observe, now I'm looking at the system. Jesse might be using this, but since I'm only observing, I'm not able to actually take control or interfere in any way, but just be able to monitor what might be going on on the screen. If I now go over to Rosemarie's machine, and instead of observe, I use control, now we actually have full live control of the system. I'll be able to open up uh, applications, uh, launch web browsers, uh, open up iCal, see what's in there. I would be able to change settings as an administrator, do anything else that I would have otherwise been able to do is if I was directly on that system. Once you're done controlling and observing, you'll be able to run reports on some of these machines. If we go over to Rick's machine here and run a report, I could get, for example, uh, what the computer might be, the bus clock speed, what the airport settings and the network settings might be. Just run get a report. Now that comes back, I've got a system over review report with all of this information about Rick's system. I can use this for my inventory management. I can put this into a database. This allows me as an administrator to have a very good idea of what's going on that machine right now. So if anything changes, if a problem were to occur later on with the network, I'd be able to go back to this information and know more about this configuration. So if you're using a lot of machines, or if you're using just a small amount of machines, but you find yourself doing a lot of work on each one, Apple Remote Desktop is a wonderful tool for you to save some time and stay back in your chair without having to get up and touch all those systems.